All right, so let's say you're given the genotype frequencies for a certain genotype consisting of the big A dominant allele and the little a recessive allele. And you're asked to find the allele frequency from these genotype frequencies. So we want to find the allele frequency. Well, we know that the genotype frequencies for the homozygous dominant is 0.6, the heterozygous is 0.32, and the homozygous recessive is 0.08. And all of these are gonna add up to equal one because the genotype frequencies are just a proportion of the entire genotypes in a population. So to find the allele frequency, what you need to do is you need to first figure out which allele you wanna figure out first. So let's say we wanna find this dominant A allele frequency. So we need to take the genotype frequency of the dominant, homozygous dominant genotype plus half of the heterozygous genotype frequency because half of the alleles, one out of the two alleles for the heterozygous, is going to contribute this big A allele. And so we only need half of their genotype frequencies to calculate the big A dominant allele frequency. So when we're calculating the allele frequency, we take the genotype frequency 0.6 of the homozygous dominant plus half of the heterozygous genotype frequency. So that's going to be 0.16. So this is going to give us an allele frequency of 0.76. So this is the allele frequency for the big A allele. Now to calculate the allele frequency for the little a, we need to take the homozygous, dom, uh, homozygous recessive genotype frequency, little a, little a, plus, again, half of the heterozygous, because half of the alleles in the heterozygote will contribute to the little a. And so this is going to give us 0.08, the genotype frequency, plus half of the genotype frequency of the heterozygote, again, which is 0.16. So this is going to give us a total of 0.24. So the allele frequency for the little a allele is going to be 0.24, and then big A is 0.76. And if we add those two together, we get 1, which should be correct, because in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, we know that P plus Q is going to give us 1.